the main points that we have uh, going on at the Orange County Register, it's really a two-pronged strategy. Number one is the print, number two is online, and they have to push ahead just as fast as we possibly can because we have no time. Our audience is changing its behaviors in terms of where they get their media, where they get their news and information, and our advertisers are finding and demanding ever more ways to reach those audiences, and we have to change on bro both fronts. The number one thing we're doing on the print side is instigating a local zoning effort, and this all occurred in 90 days. It started on January 28th, and the whole idea was to split the Orange County market and all the zip codes into six different zones. And what this allowed us to do was to lower our prices for advertisers. They now buy a region, and the prices are lowered through frequency. They now buy three times a week. And so the prices are down to av for advertisers 25 to 30 percent. This makes the Orange County Register a very strong brand where a lot of people want to advertise. It makes it their vehicle. They can afford it now. And so, as a result of this, we have 440 brand new accounts at $1,000 each. So just like that, in the last 12 weeks, for more than $400,000. So that's uh, an ongoing success story there. And we're going to build on that success story by going to our 22 to 25 community weeklies. And we're going to increase their frequency in the key uh, weeklies and give advertisers uh, more frequency and space to tell their story. The upshot of this is that the benefit is to the advertiser. Their sales go up. And that's the whole point, serving local customers. And we came to that with the, by understanding that people generally live within two to three miles of their home. You know, they may commute somewhere to work, but when they get home, they have all their stopping points around their house that they go to. And think of all those local retailers. These are the same type we had. Uh, restaurants, you know, key categories like restaurants, dry cleaners, um, uh, small businesses in an area. But we just never had the penetration. And we had a high churn to boot. You know, that people would advertise once, it would be expensive, they didn't get a return on their ad, so they would drop us. And so now the proof will be in the pudding, will these 440 stay with us beyond their 12-week contract? On the online side, completely different, whole new world. Uh, we really have to think about mobile subscriptions, we need to think about the internet, we need to think about Verizon's new Fios, uh, broadband uh, media offerings. And what we're doing there is providing content. We have turned our newsroom upside down. The news folks, the reporters, now come in at 7 a.m. in the morning. They were used to a shift that went from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. because everything was aimed at the morning paper. And now 7 a.m. is the first news conference of the day and the reporters are there to drive the web because we know people come to the web first thing when they get to work and then throughout the day peaking uh, from 11 to 2 about there and then once again in the evening. So we have continuous web story updates all through the day and then at about 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon we have a news meeting for print and then we determine that which stories need to be further developed, shortened, lengthened to go into the print product. And there are still a group of people working on print only. And then we still have an investigative team which basically does uh, the print. But you know, we have to do this. We have to. There is no time. If we ran our business the next 18 months the way we ran it the last 18 months, we would be at break even or losing money. And we can't have that. We've got to get beyond that. So these are, these are some of the things we're doing at the Orange County Register in Orange County, California.